Hey guys, it's Techricity here, and as you probably guessed from the title, this is a tutorial on the iOS 7 jailbreak, which, you know, just came out yesterday, and um, I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7 to 7.0.4 on your iPhone 5S uh, to 4, iPod 5th generation, iPad mini, iPad Air uh, to the iPad 2, and the iPad mini line. So, first of all, uh, there's some precautions you need to do. Do we need to take actually? Uh, make sure your USB cable is plugged in directly into um, the back of your computer. Um, also, may, if you did an OTA update to iOS 7, make sure you do a factory reset from the compute uh, factory restore from your computer. Um, also, uh, it's, I recommend using a fresh restore because it's easier to get the jailbreak done and you will not encounter any errors if you are on a fresh restore. So anyway, go to the Evasion website, which I just showed you. The link will be down in the description below. Press um, Mac if you're on Mac, Windows if you're on Windows, and download it from the Mega tab that I also just showed you. And you'll get a RAR file, extract it, and you'll get the Evasion tool that I'm circling right now. Go ahead and double click it. So um, it has detected my iPod Touch, um, fifth generation. So this jailbreak is really dead easy. Um, it's ro a lot easier than the older jailbreaks. So all you need to do is plug in your device and press the jailbreak button as I just did. And now we can just kick back and relax for a while. So it says uploading jailbreak data. Um, I had opened a tab in my Internet Explorer. Um, just a couple, uh, just a couple of seconds ago, and I will be talking about some problems that you may encounter um, after jailbreaking. I mean, like after you're done with the process and we're gonna install tweaks from Cydia, you may encounter some problems, which I will be talking about um, in the end of the video. So please stay tuned. Um, I will not be cutting through uh, the this the process of jailbreaking because uh, in these type of videos, when I cut uh, through the video, a lot of my subscribers think that something's fishy, uh, something fishy is going on. So I'm not going to cut this at all. So pardon me for awkward silence. So as you can see, the Evasion app had just been installed on my device. So right now, don't press it. It says configuring system, and it's rebooting my device. So just leave it alone and do and just wait for a while. Um, for me, my computer, these messages popped up because of my hardware, so I'm just going to close it and ignore it. You, you're not going to get this pop-up message. Even if you do, just press the X and you're good to go. So don't worry about that. Alright, so the device has been uh, rebooted, so all you need to do is unlock and pre tap the evasion icon just once. Alright, now the device is rebooting, and it says rebooting device on my screen. Again, uh, the process is fairly quick for me because I was on a full restore, uh, I mean a fresh restore. I mean, so I also rec so I also recommend you to be on a fresh restore as well because it just eases out the pr smoothens out the process so much, and it's very less likely that you're run into errors if you're on a fresh restore. Um, also, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, you uh, make sure that you do not have a passcode lock. Um, a passcode lock again makes you encounter some errors sometimes, so I highly recommend you do not use a passcode lock. So my device is still rebooting, and it says to continue. Please unlock your device. So that is what we're gonna do. Again, this jailbreak is really easy. Like all you're gonna, all you're doing is following the instructions on the screen. So as as soon as I unlock my device, it resprung again. 
Again, this jailbreak is so easy, your grandma could do it, which was the tagline of the Absinthe 5.1.1 jailbreak, which applies to the Evasion 7 jailbreak as well. So as you can see on my screen, it says done, and the process will now begin on our device. As you can see, the Evasion logo has popped up, and it says updating kernel. Again, just leave it alone, let it do its thing, and kick back and watch. We are now entering into the um, final stages of the jailbreak. So you're almost done. So I'm just going to set my device down for a second because I don't know how long this is going to take. Again, this is completely uncut. I'm doing this for the first time. This jailbreak is, you know, strikingly similar to the Evasion 6 jailbreak. Um, actually, it's almost exactly the same. So anyone who has jailbroken iOS 6 to 6.1.2 will automatically know how to do it on iOS 7. So my device has gone to the Apple boot uh, again. Now this is where a lot of people get stuck. So pray that your device does not go into the boot loop. This is where Atos, a good friend of mine, Atos, um, youtubecom slash Atos. I'm a huge shout out to him. He actually bricked his phone here. Oh wait, what happened to mine? Okay, yeah. So no problem. He actually bricked his phone here. So um, he had, he encountered a lot of problems with his jailbreak, and I hope that doesn't happen to me. So anyway, once that's done. Let's go back to my device. Um, as you can see, if you scroll to the right, Cydia will have been installed on your um, device. And if you've ever jailbroken before, this screen is really familiar to you. This is the preparing file system screen. So basically, it's just downloading a bunch of files and repositories and whatnot into Cydia. It will take a while depending on your internet speed and your router. Now note the Cydia has not been updated to um, support the iOS 7 jailbreak because the creator of Cydia, Sorik or Jay Freeman, was not informed about it. As I mentioned earlier, the jailbreak was a shock to the whole community. We were expecting it, you know, after iOS 7.1 came out, but it came out early, which is a good thing for us. But you know, Apple may patch it after 7.1. Anyway, as you can see, it has rebooted. So let me just go ahead and um, unlock my device and go into Cydia and I'm really happy to see the Cydia start screen so just select the user and you'll be booted into your uh, you know our familiar Cydia interface the Cydia which is the app that allows us to download and install tweaks themes and so forth and whatnot so as you can see on the bottom of the screen right now let me wait for it to focus um, wait a minute sorry guys Let me ignore some of this. Yeah, so on the bottom of the screen, um, well, let me wait for it to focus. You, As you can see, it says iPod Touch 5th generation iOS 7.0.4, Cydia 1.1.8, proof that I am jailbroken on iOS 7. So let me just head back to my desktop to tell you something. So I mentioned in the video earlier that I would be talking about some stuff. And so... All right, so this is an article from the uh, from I Download blog, also m known as My Jailbreak Movies, on uh, YouTube. So I will have the link to the website down in the description below. So they're just saying that the jailbreak caught us all off guard. As you can see, there are some tweets from Jay Freeman, the creator of Cydia, that he wasn't even informed about the jailbreak, and that's why he didn't update Cydia. And Pot2G also told us that. Um, the jail, any tweak that requires mobile substrate, which is basically all the tweaks on Cydia, I mean most of them, um, will encounter errors. So this is Techricity, signing out.